hi guys welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new i'm glad to have you here today so today we are back to school back to work and of course here's my classroom not yet finished that i need to work on as you can see they removed the tv that was up there which is awesome but they had to leave this here because this is part of the speaker when we use our mic so that's staying and what I placed up here so far is Pete the Cat. A parent made this for me last year, gave it to me the last week of the school year, and the kids loved it, and it's just so cute that I had to keep it, you know. Plus her kids are still going to be in our school for the next couple of years, so I had to leave it. And when I had it down last year, the kids kept trying to touch it and it kept falling over so i decided this would be a good spot to put it right on top of the drawers so they don't touch it oh my calendar fell down well it's my fault because i didn't put new tape that's the old one so that's going back up here and last year i had bought these letters from target's dollar spot super cute and i had a lot of extra letters and i realized I had enough to make the words today is and I figure this way I don't have to keep rewriting it over and over it can stay and I just have to write the date every day so that's nice and the calendar which fell down is going up there so I need to buy more of this sticky tape which I forgot so that sucks because I can't put any of my posters up unless I staple them up and I forgot to get push pins to hang up my pictures. So you notice that our bulletin board is empty. We're required to cover them, even though I think it looks good like that. So I went to Michael's and I bought these fadeless papers. And this one here's and this one here's fadeless. It's called Clouds. It looks like this and it measures four feet by 12 feet so it's long enough for the bulletin board and it looks like that so i have one bulletin board in this room i noticed last year i had two but i do have one outside so that's where these are going i need to do that and here are the borders that i knew i had for at least a couple years now and i finally found them so that's awesome and i had bought them at target's dollar spot years ago but I bought extra that I found at Michael's because it's pretty much my style and it matches and these were $1.99 each at Michael's they measure three inches by 18 inches so I bought two of them and I was able to use coupons so I got them for a dollar each so I guess it depends where I want to put it how it'll look but they basically look the same and I think they're super cute I'm gonna look in here see what I have maybe I'll have at least a couple push pins I know I threw them away last year Oh, there you go, guys. You see it? There are some push pins and they're clear. Thank you. Oh, man. It really helps to have this. Oh! <sighs> I dropped it. Ugh, I dropped it. Okay. This is our first day back. Can you believe it? And I'm already making a mess. Okay, here are my push pins so I can start putting up my bulletin board yeah so the first thing i did was to measure the bulletin board just kind of estimate it and then cut it to length so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pin it up and after that i will go ahead and staple it that i got them pinned i'm going to staple them so i got the first part done of the border because i cut it way too short so now i'm going to do a second layer and that's going to be the rainbow one that I got from Michael. So let's see if it works. By the way, it took me one and a half packages of the polka dot border from Target. And let's see how much it takes us at the Michael's border. Look at one of the bulletin boards, so the one outside all done with the double border. I think it looks pretty cute. Except, of course, there is that wrinkle but otherwise i think it looks super cute here is the paper cut for the inside bulletin board so i need to get this done and up here 
So I need to do the same thing I did outside. So the second bulletin board is done and I think it looks really cute. I don't think I'm going to add the polka dots anymore just because I think I like it exactly the way it is. Now I just need to clean up this mess and then continue on. And now I'm going to take this painting and put it up here. I think that would be a good spot. For now, I ended up with more stuff. The school gave us these post-its and some goodies. But that's it for now, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Day two of me coming back, or not day two, it's the next day. So my bulletin board in here looks good, but I found out my bulletin board outside is not gonna work. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change it. But look, I'm down to one box there, but I believe these boxes need to go up. So oh, gotta get that done and gotta change the bulletin board outside. But I'm liking the numbers. And did I show you? I got some post-its. They gave it to us yesterday, our first day back, and they gave us some goodies. You want to see what we got? I'll show you. So we got these post-its, poster board, anchor chart paper. Go ahead and put it up here for now. I know it looks a mess, but oh well. And these boxes are going to go up there because it has nowhere else to go unless it goes up here. But that'll be right on top of my anchor chart paper, so I guess it's going there. Oh, somebody gave me copies that is for our Saxon phonics, which is awesome, because now I don't have to print it. Oh, and then, yes, I was gonna show you the goodie bags they gave us yesterday. Oops, oh well. And here's a look inside, guys. We got some goodies. Let me show you. Here's a look at everything that was in this bag. And oh, I got some good stuff, guys. We got this Expo whiteboard care eraser, which I need. I never buy them. I just wait till someone gives it to me. Last year, I got one from the school and a student brought it in. So I didn't have to worry there. So I'm, a, I'm good with that. And then we have the medium pink erasers, perfect for the students because they go through them quick three packs of wood pencils, yes, two glue sticks, this Scotch Magic Tape, a set of classic Crayola markers, flip chart markers by Foray, Paper Mate Ink Joy, Stylo Bill Ballpoint, yes, we always need blue pens and for some reason I always don't know where mine are, but these are good, I love Ink Joy. A set of Crayola Classic Markers, Yes, Expo Dry Erase in Black, perfect. I like those. Or do they, oh no, they include four colors. Yeah, that's awesome. And then a set of highlighters. Oh, perfect, because I don't know where mine are. And then jumbo paper clips and regular ones, good, because people never give them back. <laughs> um, correction tape, I love this style of correction tape. I mean, whether it's Office Depot, Paper Mate, I love them, so I'm glad I got them again this year. And these dry erase, oh, I already mentioned that. So yeah, we actually got some good stuff. We got all of this plus the post-it anchor charts, which I'm so happy about, so yes. By the way, if you're wondering about the old anchor charts I have, I like to remember what I did so that I can do it again this year. So I'm just gonna take pictures of it before I throw it away. So, yep, that was nice to get that. We got those yesterday. Today's day two where we get to work on our room, which hopefully we do. I'm not sure if they're going to try to throw in a meeting. And here's some of the stuff I bought from Target. I brought it in so I can use it in here. And by the way, I have to redo my bulletin board outside because it needs to be fabric, which sucks. So I already had this, and I'm just going to go ahead and redo it. What I'm using are these mainstays flat sheets 200 thread count doesn't matter i got it from walmart so it's pretty cheap and that's what i'm using for my bulletin board so for those of you who need to do a bulletin board and you realize fabric's expensive this works fine just a bed sheet or a flat sheet works perfectly fine so that's what i'm gonna do now i removed everything there are the borders i don't think i can save the background it wrinkled up anyway so Let's go ahead and fix this up. up and it's all wrinkled but hoping that stretching it out will take out the wrinkles oh my goodness so look at my wall with the fabric and the new ribbon i borrowed from someone not bad 
Not so bad. I finally got my outside bulletin board done. It says fabulous in first. And it looks like this. Not bad. This came from Target Dollar Spot a couple of years ago. And so did the page protectors. Right, I finally put up this reading sign and this also came from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. I actually put the letters on there, or my kids did, and it came out kind of cute. So I'm liking it. It's a reading wall. Well guys, the day ended and I'm finally back home. So I think I'm gonna end it with this. These are one of my favorite treats. And these are macarons from the brand called Private Selection, which I got from Smith's, which is a grocery store. And this comes with lavender, chocolate, lemon, and matcha green tea. So they come frozen and you just defrost them and they are so good. They only cost $7.99 for a pack of 12. So hey, that's just that's under a dollar each. How is that? That's amazing, guys. And here is what it looks like. They are so good. So good. So, guys, that is it for my day. I'm just so tired. So, I'm just going to end it like that. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you like it. I hope you share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have a great day, guys.